morning. Yep, it's just about morning. Uh, we've had a bit of a lazy day, but we have decided that it's such a beautiful winter's day that we're going to make our way to Gerardale, um You got it right the first time, Railway Heritage Trail. <laughs> to Gerardale Railway Heritage Trail. Woohoo! Um, it's myself, Vanita. Hi. And little Ruby Oops. is in the back there. It, Can you see him? There he is. is. There he is. <laughs> Hello, little Ruby. This is a nice walk, should be nice and peaceful. And what's really cool is that it's train track, uh, a disused train track. So that's really awesome. So we're gonna check that out. We've stopped off to get some provisions and there's no stopping us now. So we are off. Catch you later. So we've been walking for just over about an hour now. Uh, still down the train track, as you can see behind us. It's a really great walk. A good workout too, because uh, this blue metal, this stuff, yeah, that, uh, that can be quite hard work to walk on. Uh, we've seen some cool things. We've seen people doing dirt bikes and the uh, off-roaders earlier on. There's horses around. It's just so great to be out in the Australian countryside. Um, really love it. So yeah, we're just going to keep walking until we can't walk anymore, really. The sun's still up, so that's a good thing. We're definitely not camping tonight. We're just going to enjoy the hike and uh, the steady walk. We'll catch you later on. Okay. Um, so Jared Owl was, oh cheers, yeah, good one. Cheers. Cheers. So the little town centre or the village wasn't too much further from where we were all parked. It was only probably like another kilometre down the road or something like that. And it didn't take long before we stumbled into the watering hole. Um, it's a really nice pub, very big, huge big beer garden, which is good for um, dogs. And obviously we've got roots in tow, plus if you've got little kids as a playground and stuff like that. Pizza oven, very nice and chilled. I haven't been indoors because Simon went and got the beers, but he might do a little bit of filming so you can see what it's all about. But it's a very big pub, which looks good. The side is nice and cold. It's a good walk. Um, I think we were at it for about three and a half hours or something like that. We didn't quite do the um, poster hike, so to speak, the signpost hike. We, went, we kind of stuck to the railway line. So maybe next time we might do the actual trail hike, which I think goes up to a little bit of a lookout. You might get a view over the escarpment or something. But just on the way in, we've seen that they do a Jaredale Town Loop Heritage Hike, which is four and a half k's or something. So that could be another possibility another time as well. Um, we did about 8 k's all up, wasn't it, in the end? Yeah, or something like that, I think, um, yeah. Even though they didn't quite get to the end of the, uh, yeah. the train tracks. Mm. But the, um, you, are you, the walk back 
with. Oh and, yeah, we kind of veered off the train tracks to go on like the path or the road. So that was pretty cool. Um, kind of undulated quite a bit. A little bit of ups and downs. Nothing too crazy to take your breath away um, on the up. But it was nice for a bit of a change from walking on that blue metal and stuff. Uh, it seemed to be a, little, a lot quicker on the way back by doing that path. I think you don't go around big long bends as the rail, the, the trains or the railway once did. Um, so it seems a little bit more direct. Um, yeah, so that was that was quite nice. Nice, little, nice easy yeah, stroll back. I mean, it really. went up and down a lot more on the path. Mm. Um, because obviously the railway tracks have been designed to be flattened and kept flat. So it's a steady walk, albeit on blue metal, on the train lines, but the uh, the actual bridleway or the pathway where they have the horses and mm. footpath and what have you mm. really goes up and down, uh, which is quite, quite nice as a walk goes. So an interesting little thing I think we've observed on this little walk is that the locals around here seem to try out their full driving skills yeah. around on those back kind of dirt roads or bridle paths. Mm. We came across one car at least um, while we were walking but we've just seen a car semi-stuck um, going down into a, river. into a river, into like a little creek and is stuck with a dirt bike at, on the back trailer. So I think they uh, like to try out a bit of four-wheel driving around here. Sometimes they come off alright, sometimes they don't. You would have seen some footage earlier of some boys trying to hoof it up the um, side of the embankment of the railway line too so it might be a little bit of a thing that they do around here interesting yeah <laughs> it's funny <laughs> so we fully rate this walk it was very good fun uh not really any hard work it's as hard as you make it really yeah uh, but nice to be out and about and you see some beautiful sights i was able to send the drone up as i usually like to sort of do that and uh, I imagine by now you would have seen it as per. Uh, but yeah, it was really nice, wasn't it? Really I think nice Roops liked it. Yeah. <laughs> he was pretty happy the whole way through. It's pretty knackered now though. Yeah. So yep, yeah, all good. Yep, so we're going to enjoy our pints. Yeah. And chill out a bit after that walk. Yeah. And catch you in the next episode. See ya.